The show is Merrily We Roll Along at the Hudson Theater here on Broadway. Lindsay Mendez, Daniel Radcliffe, and Jonathan Groff join me. Now, one, one thing that people, some people don't know about Broadway is like, oh, yeah, they're, they're on for six shows, the six nights, they do six shows. It's six nights, eight shows, as we said before. What's that schedule like? Are you all just sort of used to it at this point? Because great to work, but yeah. what, what's the eight shows like for you guys? I mean, you've done many of these. You've done many of these. Yeah. It's still really intense. And, you know, I, I think there are days where, you know, we're exhausted and we're, like, out there and singing, and you're like, wow, this... <clears throat> is she gonna... Is she gonna stay with me tonight? I don't know. Like, you know, I think, I think there are still um, surprises that, that happen, but I do feel like our bodies are kind of conditioned to yeah. doing it now. It's just... But it is... It's not easy. <laughs> Tuesday night, I did have to flip it to the hootie who. What does that? No, can you, you? Go further. <laughs> go further. I know it. It almost rhymes. What is? <laughs> that skip to the loo, my darling. We were in the recording studio all day on Monday, and then we got to the show on Tuesday night, and it was like, all right, let's do this. And we all love doing it, so yeah. that is a lot of like the energy that gets us going. Yeah. But then it got to our last number on the rooftop, oh, yeah. our time, and I was like. You know, sometimes when you're like, ah, and it's and just nothing's coming out. Oh. Yeah, so I had to just sort of like something I would normally be singing like ah. I was like ah, and I, oh, I so like flip, flip it, it to the, the hoodie. Yeah, oh, okay. and I became aware that that was happening, <laughs> and and suddenly thought that what I. I didn't. I probably shouldn't have done this, but I was like, John's singing very quietly. I'll sing four times as loud as <laughs> yes. I ever normally would. It was so literal. But I don't think it was the right thing to do. I think we both just looked weird. But then weird. when I came out, <laughs> and then when I came out, I pulled it back. Yes. And then you were we, like, as a, oh, like we have we have a joke, but like, well, it's not even a joke at this point anymore. We talk about Lindsay as being the vocal captain of the show because yeah. there are moments when Lindsay. There's one specific moment where we all harmonize. I can tell that this happens, right? Oh, of course. Um, where Lindsay will, where if Jonathan is under the pitch, Lindsay will direct him with her eyes to be like, you low, get up there, get up there, get up there. And when and when he nails it, she just like sends her go. eyes again and she's like, you're on it. Got it. Yeah. It's, yeah it's the last real... three shows she's been like, yeah, you've been on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you good. can you're actually good. sing. Yeah. <laughs> well, the um, uh, obviously this is a Stephen Sondheim musical and, and there are a million Sondheim lovers out there. I had the great honor. Yes. yes. I had the great. I had the great honor of, of interviewing him three times and telling him what he meant to me, and I got to do a small part in company about a dozen years ago. And I'll just, I'll always be grateful for the, the, any of the time I got to spend with this, ma this master. What, what is y'all's first experience with Stephen Sondheim? Did you get a chance to work with him? Uh, yes, I actually got to work with him um, a few years ago on one of the first shows he ever wrote called Saturday Night. Um, we did a little production of it off Broadway, and he came to every performance and sat on the step uh, at the back of the house and watched it and just like wept and laughed and really just took it for what it was, which was just this like joyous thing that he did in his 20s. You know, when I think about things I did in my 20s, I want to like die, but <laughs> for him. But that, the 20s is the character at the beginning of Merrily We Were All Alone. Yes, and he just loved it and appreciated it, and it was, it was so. It was just beautiful. It was, it was, yeah, perfect. Any pressure to be singing Sondheim in front of Stephen Sondheim? Are you kidding? Did you feel pressure? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got to run my piece once with the New York Philharmonic before we opened. Oh my Whoa. And right before I opened my mouth, he came in and sat in the front row. That's terrible. I have flown with the Thunderbirds. I have <laughs> gone down uh, the Alpine, uh, uh, you know, uh, toboggan with the World Championship bobsled team. Nothing is as terrifying as trying to sing Sorry Grateful oh, my for the God. first time. Oh my God. Which, and none of the songs are easy. No. None of them are right. easy. No. The word <laughs> my pants gets thrown around around <laughs> the tree all too loosely. <laughs> <laughs> Many things were loose that day. Wow. Uh, at Merrily We Roll Along is playing at the Hudson Theater uh, through March uh, 24th. Daniel Radcliffe, Jonathan Groth, and Lindsay Mendez, thank you so much for being here, you guys. We'll be right back with a performance by Arlo Parks.